Hello Taurus, this is your top secret cross watchers video. This is for you and it is how your person of interest thinks, feels, and what they intend with you with details. So let's jump into this and see what is happening. Taurus, your person wants you to be balanced. I'm getting your person feels very much if you notice, we have somebody who looks very healthy here and we see somebody who looks very unhealthy here, right? When we get um, the dark side of the justice card is you aren't being treated fairly, but the justice card upright means that your person actually feels as though you do treat them fairly. They feel as though there is a an equal give and take in the relationship. Um, when I get this energy for you, Taurus, that this is Libra energy, your person would like to marry you, I will say that. Oh, okay. Where is that energy? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's my book? Okay. I need to turn this off for a second. Fuck. Taurus, your person feels, this is Libra energy. This is a card. The Justice card is all about um, seventh house Libra energy. They see you as a person with, for whom they would like to marry. You know, basically this can indicate the marriage license. It indicates very much an intention to have a life with you, to build a life with you. They do feel as though, you know, that things are very equal give and take in the relationship. Um, it's very, but it's detached energy also. Libra energy is very soft energy. This is a person, Taurus, who probably doesn't really, it's ruled by Venus. When we look at Libra energy, Venus and Saturn, this person's dedicated to you. Um, they tend to be very soft in terms of, you know, and some people think like Libra energy is wishy-washy. They can't really make a decision, but it really speaks to the fact that to them, you are a beautiful partner for them. The Ten of Cups, well, this is one of the happiest cards in the deck. This person loves you and they want you involved with children, whether you have them together or if you're older and you're coming into this relationship or you're in the relationship, um, you might have grown children or children, but your person finds you as their absolute perfect partner. Your person finds you as being someone with whom they can have great joy and happiness. Again, we have Libra energy here. We have the Queen of Swords. And what we see here, Taurus, is that your person really will cut you out of their life if they feel that things are not fair and balanced. Your person will... Um, will demand that if you uh, harm them, if you are not uh, operating at a very high level of authenticity, that they would leave the relationship. So it does speak to the fact that for most of you for whom I am reading, I feel very much that you're close to this person now. Some of you will be in separation. Some of you may even be married to someone else, but for the most part, I'm just seeing a lot of energy here that says that your person's very well grounded and they find you their absolute happily ever after. What they want with you is to make plans for the future. Now they don't want, that we're not talking about grandiose plans, but their plans like, well, let's plan our vacation next year. You know, um, who's doing what, what's on your schedule. Your person really finds that they want to talk to you, that they want conversation with you, that they like making plans with you, that they like sitting down and talking about, well, you know, are we gonna paint the living room? Or, you know, where are we gonna go to dinner next week? Are we gonna meet Harry and Sally <laughs> at dinner? So it really is speaking to the fact that your person loves that if you do that with them. 
in their heart space, they feel as though, Taurus, that you have really, this is sort of like Elvis left the building. You know, that was what everybody kept saying sort of after Elvis Presley passed away. It was like Ten of Swords, you know, it was such a tragic ending to a personality in our society. And there was a sort of, you know, it's like whenever we mourn the loss of somebody who's famous as a collective, but your person, look at this heart. They are Four of Swords. They are trying to heal from some old wounds here. And we can see the defensiveness here because these are cards that, especially the Queen of Swords, a card of defensiveness. So your person in their heart space is feeling very wounded at this time, Taurus. Um, this card says that they feel that you've walked away, that you've abandoned them, that in some way, you know, they're trying to heal from the situation. When we look at the the tower card, your person feels as though short of a miracle, you know, that they need to create a miracle. Your person feels as though their job right now is to try to stabilize a relationship because we have this energy of the tower and we have it here. So we have it two places in the reading. Your person sees very much that they're having an epiphany, basically seeing that the relationship needs a strong foundation. They feel, but look at this beauty. I love this tower card actually because it's really the lightning strike. This is Scorpio energy of transformation with the butterflies. We see the animals going, there's a storm and storms are natural. And though they can make a tree come down in the forest, the crack of lightning can also prove to send us scurrying into a protective mode, but also thinking about the future you know like in the future what are we going to do here it's rebuilding the foundations of the relationship your person taurus sees you as a rock star they see you as someone who's very uh very very much um meeting their goals a star you're a rock star at what you do probably in your field of work this person does see you as as someone who wants to do the right thing the problem is, is that they also see you, Taurus, as somebody who's defensive, kind of somebody who won't listen to other people. Um, I saw this, uh, this cartoon one day and it said, Namaste, my ass at home. And I started laughing so hard because, nah, I'm gonna just stay home. I'm not gonna go out. I'm not gonna have fun. I'm just gonna stay stuck here. And you know, it speaks so much to the COVID, you know, being locked in. But what we're seeing is this person is locked into a sense of spirituality that is chaotic to the relationship. So whatever it is that they think is necessary, they really think that they're doing a much better job than they're doing in the relationship. This person looks like they're quite stubborn. And we see somebody who may not have a great history, though well-intentioned, Taurus. They may not have a really great history at relationship. Now, I will say this, you know, there's probably a mixture. With the Tower card, I would say that there's a mixture of, of difficulty in this relationship. It does look like you're probably in very close quarters right now. It does look like you're in contact. I don't see this as... I see this Ten of Swords as if this relationship doesn't build a foundation, your person feels as though you're going to leave it. You may have even told them you were going to leave them, and that would have shocked them. Your person's trying to manifest your Taurus. This is beautiful magician energy. It's the energy of Gemini. This is a person who has all the tools to win your heart, to do what's exactly right. It is hidden energy. They definitely want to manifest you. You are somebody whom, for whom they can count on financially to do your fair share. You're a person who is sharp, really, really sharp intellectually. You're very smart. They feel very much that you have the depth of the ocean, the 10 of cups, that the two of you can love one another very deeply. Um, and it also is fire. The passion is there. This is a very passionate passionate card. When I get the Magician card personally as a reader, I really find that 
you know, and this lightning strike in this particular card with the star card, I feel as though your lovemaking is very, very good. That it is a really big part of the relationship and it's a very important part of your relationship because it helps you. I do think, though, that your person gets really flustered. There is a real sense. Spirit is telling you the two of you have to stop fighting. I feel as though your partner fights covertly. I do not think very often that they fight overtly, but they may in the near future. They may fight with you, you know, on the outward level. They may say things and in an effort to try to defend themselves and enlighten you. But, you know, that's, that's tough. Okay, it's tough to convince somebody else that they need enlightening. And they, it, they could be totally wrong. They may be the one who needs enlightening. But the Five of Swords says that Spirit is telling you, you guys have to stop fighting. Five of Swords, it's just negative, sort of ugly energy. And if the two of you are bringing out the worst in each other, this really will lead to the Tower moment and the Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. And, you know, both of you, I think, are probably in this energy. I think you're in a standoff situation. Taurus, what we see here is that your person totally loves you. The Ace of Cups. They have never loved anybody as much as they love you. They truly feel that that's a feeling that I think is probably new for them. I feel as though they actually, they find themselves shocked by it. They find themselves sometimes, normally they may have left a relationship when there's this kind of tension because they don't like that kind of tension. But I'm finding that they can't, they love you. And look at this, you have the Sacred Heart or the Ten of Pentacles. That is a legacy marriage card. This is a marriage card based on happily ever after. When you blend these two cards, it's off the charts. This is a marriage license so this person really wants to marry you but they won't they won't really admit it I'm I'm seeing them sort of keeping the secret with the magician card the tower card is actually saying something quite beautiful Taurus the the tower card is saying that your person is beginning we have two towers your person is beginning to see their part of the arguments they're beginning to see their part of the situation that makes you feel defensive. They also, this is a beautiful card upside down and it is so important that this be reversed and it is. Because when we have the upright, we see basically somebody who's totally the thief in the night is what the card is called. So this person may have in the past really been very sort of skulky. You know, they may not have been a very nice person. They may have felt that when there was a crisis in the relationship, they would do sort of you know, sneaky things. I'm going to hide my money in the shoebox. I'm not going to pay my fair share of the rent. You know, I'm not going to tell this person I love them. You know, they're trying to harm me. So when we see, you know, whenever you take cover, let's look at this. It's very important. When you get the tower card, you see the birds, the, the, we see both of this in nature. We see the lightning strike could kill an animal, right? It can kill a human, it can kill a tree. So the lightning strike says that this person is having an epiphany, a recognition, a tower moment. It's, you know, bringing, uh, it's really, really the realization that they might have been part of the problem in their relationships. And that, you know, the truth be told, they have at times in their life, not necessarily with you, but probably some with you. Because when we get the reversal, we get someone who says, wow, I'm creating tower moments. I'm creating this. Now, this is really beautiful in the reverse. It is very, very powerful energy. It's all about the fact that your person is recognizing. It's very important that you, um, I need to look this up for you in the book, okay. In the reverse, the key words are, a time of being around deception is now ceasing in your life. This manipulative force is moving on and no longer of concern to you. You see through people and things as clearly as through the looking glass of water that sits before you and you know that other people's intentions are in a place of love and excitement for you at this time. All envy, deceit, jealousy around you has cleared and you're able to trust others better from now on moving forward. They have gone and it's over. 
So that deceptive person is going, going, gone. The energy that we have right now is Sandpiper Spirit. Be playful, Taurus. Be playful. Lighten the mood. There's been a lot of heaviness. There's been a lot of fighting. This We're coming up on the winter solstice. Be playful. It's time to let go of old injuries. Let this energy go. Let this energy of feeling like, well, I'm walking out. You know, I'm going to walk out if Taurus doesn't really respond to me. Overcome obstacles is your energy. Taurus, I'm sorry, I think I said that backwards. So your person feels as though you're leaving them and that, that that's an energy. You need to work on the more positive energy over here. That's what I'm seeing. Your person loves you dearly. They love you exquisitely. They want to marry. You have three marriage indicators right here. The magician card, the star card, two of the best cards in the deck. It is an exceptional reading, but the two of you are probably in a period where with the lockdown and feeling quite locked down in the relationship. Like you can't really manifest what you want, but you can. So Taurus, that is your energy. It is beautiful energy in my book that whatever problems have gone on in this relationship, you're at a time of healing, but you just let it happen. Don't hold resentments. Don't, don't get in this dark place. Don't argue. Start to begin to look at this and, uh, you know, frame this differently. Just say, you know, even though I think this person may not be doing the right thing, I'm going to at least give them the benefit of the doubt if there is a balanced reason to do so. Do not let your fears overtake the relationship, okay? So I love you. Sending you light and love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.